To someone on the outside looking in, Winston-Salem State and Wake Forest University may seem like polar opposites. One is a private, predominantly white university with more than 8,000 students. Founded in 1834 on a plantation by the Baptist State Convention of North Carolina. The other is a historically black public research university with an enrollment of just over 5,000 that was started in a one-room schoolhouse with only 25 students and one teacher. And with only five miles separating their campuses, they've been neighbors in Winston-Salem since 1956, sometimes serving as brick-and-mortar representations of the city's demographic divide. But through what may seem like an infinite amount of differences, the schools were able to find common ground in the sweet sound of music. As Wake Forest invited Winston-Salem State's marching band, the Red Sea of Sound, to share the field at halftime during the Demon Deacons home opener of the 2019 football season. Hello HBCU world, my name is Michael Magruder. I am the director of bands at Winston-Salem State University. We needed something that two groups would come together. Although it's a brief moment for us, but we're still here, they appreciate us being here. We appreciate them even asking us to be here. So we have a great relationship with the city of Winston-Salem. We have a great relationship with Wake Forest band directors. So we're trying to bridge the gap. This is gonna be probably some of the biggest that a few of our bandsmen have performed for. So I think it means a lot to them just to be in front of this many people. You know, we went through a lot of hard work in band camp in the first two weeks of school, and now we get to show everybody on a large stage what the band can do. You gotta have two different personalities. You know, there's the military personality when you gotta get everybody together, make sure the lines are straight. Because then when I'm performing, you know, I wanna make sure that I look as good as possible. Um, I wanna make sure that my moves are nice and crisp. And before the bands united for their halftime performance, they wowed the crowd from the stands as Winston-Salem State's band injected a little extra energy into the already raucous Wake Forest crowd. The Red Sea of Sound is no stranger to being called in to perform at center stage. Sometimes, creating new performance routines in only a week's time. It's hectic at times just because, you know, we're always trying to please the crowd and make sure that our music kind of caters to what the crowd wants. So we have to learn different songs within like a week or so. But overall, you know, we're just trying to make sure that everybody's happy when we leave the performance. When we get the music ready, get the routines together, make sure you have a drill that makes sense, then you move forward. Dr. Magruder will give us the message saying like, yeah, we're gonna be playing here. They want us for this long. They want us to play this many songs. So we'll go in. We have a certain group of students called the Creative Concepts Committee. We'll go in our group chat or meet up in person and talk about what music we want to play, what we think the crowd will like, and then we give the ideas to Dot. And then the next day, you know, he'll have all the music ready and then the band just gets rolling from there. Creativity is the name of the game in this business and we have some very creative students. Our job is to come out here and entertain our fans or anybody who is in reach of us. So it doesn't matter who it is, we just want to be entertaining. We want folk to look at us, recognize us and say, oh, that's the Red Sea of Sound, we know who that is. The bands played together for just over three minutes, but during that time, there was no us and there was no them. It was just we as music was able to unite the two Winston-Salem universities in a moment of literal harmony. I've never seen a better halftime show. One of the best ever. I've ever seen. We should do that every game. Every game. At least every year. Don't you think? No, every game. Every game. Every game would be better, yeah. Yeah. What y'all think of the halftime show? Awesome. Good. Hey, it was awesome. It was a great, one of the best we've ever had here. It was great to see both bands on the field together. They did an outstanding job. It was totally enjoyable. Stayed in my seat the whole time. What y'all think of the halftime show? Yeah. It was great. Two thumbs up, two thumbs up. Great. They should have been yeah. doing it all along. So good. It was, it was great. lit. We've got to do it again. I'm thinking every single home game. Yes. Honestly, I like the vibe, the music choice, amazing.